furniture to the scene. To add some interest to the scene, you'll now add some benches and lounges from the symbol libraries. I've already imported the relevant symbols into the file for you to use. The concrete straight bench symbol is from the Objects, Landscape and Site file that is a favourite on your resource browser. The lounger symbol, Site, Fern, Landscape, Forms, CL35000, is from a larger library of landscape forms furniture, which is available to download from the Vectorworks Service Select portal for Vectorworks Service Select subscribers only. Remember, you learned how to add resource files to your resource browser in the Installation and Setup section called Accessing Landmark Resources. Place some library symbols. On the navigation palette, change layer options to Show Snap Others. On the Render Mode menu, on the View Bar, choose OpenGL Options. Change the following settings. Detail, High. Use shadows, uncheck. Click OK. Use the mouse or trackpad to zoom and pan the model so that you can clearly see the lower area of the space. Make fixtures main the active class. On the resource browser, double-click the concrete straight bench symbol to make it the active symbol. Move the cursor to the top of the vertical path and use the smart cursor to obtain a snap on the centre of the path. Notice the surface of the paving highlights in blue. Vectorworks is using automatic plane mode to detect the 3D surface of the paving. Click once to place the centre of the bench. Click again without moving the cursor to complete the insertion. Move the cursor to the lower part of the vertical path. Note that the OpenGL render will prevent you from snapping to surfaces that are behind others. Most of the time this is a very useful feature, but in this case we need to be able to see through the fence to be able to snap to the paving. Press and hold the B key on your keyboard. This invokes X-ray mode to make modelling easier. Place a second bench at the bottom of the vertical path. On the Object Info palette, notice that the Z value is already set to 35mm as automatic working plane mode detected the surface of the paving. On the Resource browser, Locate the symbol Site Fern Landscape Forms CL35000 and then double click it to make it the active symbol. Bring the cursor onto the upper right lawn and click to place the first lounger. Move the cursor to rotate the symbol into a position you're happy with and then click again to complete the symbol instance insertion. Repeat to place another lounger on this lawn. Again, these symbols will be sitting on the surface of the lawn. Examine the water feature. Press B again to invoke X-ray mode on the lower left of the garden to see through the fence. On the left end of the horizontal path is a water feature that's been created for you. Select each of the elements in turn with the selection tool and examine its properties on the Object Info palette. The walls have been drawn with the Wall tool. The coping, in this case, has also been drawn with the Wall tool, but with a greater offset from the layer at the bottom of the wall and a different height and thickness to the wall below it. The body of water has been created by drawing a simple rectangle and then extruding it. The sphere was created with the sphere tool in the 3D modelling toolset. You'll learn more about 3D modelling in the following exercise. Save the file, but keep the file open as we'll continue working with it in the next exercise.